we want to find the derivatives of the given functions where the functions involve inverse trig functions. The derivative formulas are given here. Notice how we have two derivative formulas without the chain rule given here and two derivative formulas that include the chain rule here. Looking at the derivative formulas that include the chain rule, notice how u would be equal to the inner function and therefore the derivative is a product where the first factor is a derivative of the outer function and the second factor, u prime, is the derivative of the inner function. The good news is, if we're not sure whether we need the chain rule, we should go ahead and apply it because notice if u is equal to x, then u prime is equal to one, giving us the same derivative. Our first function is f of x equals negative two times inverse cotangent of x or negative two arc cotangent of x. Because we just have x here, we don't need to apply the chain rule, which means f prime of x would be equal to negative two times the derivative of arc cotangent x, which is negative one, divided by the quantity one plus x squared. Therefore, f prime of x is equal to positive two divided by the quantity one plus x squared. And again, I think it's important to emphasize that if we did try to apply the chain rule to find this derivative, the result would be the same. In this case, the inner function would be x, therefore u would be equal to x, and therefore u prime, the derivative of u with respect to x would be equal to one. So if we apply this derivative formula here, the derivative would be the same. But now looking at the second function, we have g of x equals five inverse tangent of two to the power of x, or five arc tangent of two to the power of x. And because the inner function is two raised to the power of x, we do have to apply the chain rule in order to find this derivative. So we'll be using this derivative formula here, where the inner function is equal to u. So in this case, we would have u equals two raised to the power of x, which means u prime, or the derivative of u with respect to x, would be natural log two times two to the power of x. So g prime of x would be equal to five times the derivative of the outer function, which would be one divided by one plus u squared, or two to the power of x squared. This is the derivative of the outer function times u prime, or the derivative of the inner function, which we already found as natural log two times two to the power of x. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We have g prime of x equals, the numerator here is going to be five times two to the power of x times natural log two. Our denominator is going to be one plus two to the power of x squared. We're gonna multiply these exponents so we would have two to the power of two x. So this would be our derivative function, but I do wanna mention that we could express two raised to the power of two x as four to the power of x, since two to the power of two x is equal to two squared to the power of x, which would be four to the power of x. So we could write this as one plus four raised to the power of x if we wanted to. But we'll go ahead and leave it in this form here. Okay, I hope you found these two examples helpful.